What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Nate Almighty, a.k.a. the Global Dark Skin Ambassador. I'm back. Rikers Island Story, number 10, volume 10. Shout out to anybody who's been supporting, you know, watching my videos, leaving comments. Feel free to do just that and more. Um, We're going to get straight to it. Since I already uh, spoke about uh, being in the box on Rikers Island, um, I figured I'd go into detail. So today's Rikers Island story is what the box is like in Rikers Island. Okay, so Rikers Island. You go to the box. First, you meet up in the bullpen. They take you in the bullpen. You are either by yourself or you with other people that is going to the box. So if my mind serves me correctly, um, you go through an intake process. Okay, boom. They take everything from you, your clothes, uh, your sneakers, whatever you may have on. Uh, they make you wash your ass just in case you bring any sicknesses into the building or whatever. Um, uh, and then the, they, uh, they walk you to, it's like a big giant, like room, giant room with like three tiers and it's just cells next to each other. These cells are a little different from a lot of the regular cells in C-74, um, I was in the building either OBCC or the Beacon. I went to the box twice and I can't remember which one I went to first. Um, the first time I went, I served 60 days and then another time I went, I served, I would say like around 200 days. No, not around 200 days. I would say the first time I spent there was about 60 days. The other time I spent there was about 120 days. Something like that. Something around 100. But um, after they strip you down, they take you to the big room with a bunch of cells. Um, like I said, these cells are different. Like They look like stronger like cell doors. Um, um, it's immediately a bunch of people yelling. <laughs> it's a bunch of niggas yelling at each other, talking to each other. They're like, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Yeah, so they coming through with the whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a whole lot of that. Some people is arguing, some people rapping, some people just having basic, loud conversations with each other. Um, the box is trash. It is a very small cell. Um, with a very thin mattress, uh, with a steel toilet, no toilet seat, um, a sink, and that's it. It's just your body, the sink, the bed, and the toilet. Um, they feed you three times a day. You're not able to, uh, like, get your food, get your regular commissary foods and and chef it up the way you like because they don't fuck with you like that. Um, you got to be really, really, really like like in tune with like an SBA who works in that building and maybe uh, they can help like sneak stuff to you. But, you know, I wasn't gang affiliated. I didn't know nobody in that building. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had... I had a, 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 a fairly respectable name in C74, but I wasn't like a major like gang member. Like I didn't have all these connections. So I was nobody. Nobody knew who I was except for people who I ran into that happened to be in a box at that time. But um the box is terrible. Um you gotta find yourself busy writing letters or what I was doing was writing raps and beating my meat a lot. Um, and you gotta read. If you're gonna do that, you basically gonna lose your mind. I mean, other than that, you hear people scream all day, every day, except for when it's time to go to bed. I mean, um, how the phones go is the CO will bring a phone, will bring the phone to everyone's cell once a day. Uh, six minute phone calls, six minute phone calls. You don't really get a chance to say nothing. 
Um, and if you call whoever you're calling and it gets the voicemail, um, you just lost your call, your phone call for the day, buddy. You know, it's over. Um, like I said with the food situation, if you ain't linked in with somebody, you eating that regular trash, plain food. No, no soup meals, you know what I'm saying? No sloppy joe, no noodles, no chicken breast, none of that shit. Just whatever dry, nasty food they give you, um... Uh, some people be in there. They they might uh fake hang it up, which was pretend that they committed suicide, right? So they can get taken out of there and serve the rest of their box time in a mod somewhere. Um, I wasn't gonna do that. I feel like that was too much. Um, me reading and writing rhymes and be my me got me through. Um, it wasn't, I would say easy, but it was manageable. Like I dealt with it. Um, but the box is just somewhere you don't want to be. Like it's really solitary confinement. Like it means you're confined to yourself for a long time. Um, 23 hour lockdowns. Um, they got to escort you to the shower. Like, it's trash. Like, it's somewhere you don't want to be. Like, slavery for real. Um, some some inmates would get mad and they did things like, like shit and piss in a milk car and cup. And if they mad at the CO, the CO will come. Like, you're trying to give you the food and open your slot. Because there's slots in the doors to injure your food. And they'll stick their hand out the slot and dush the CO. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's a call for automatic ass whooping. Gonna get your ass whooped, and you're gonna get another infraction, and you're gonna get more box time. But to see it happen, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Um, but yeah, you know, nothing too uh, exciting about the box, you know. It's trash. That's the box. If you wanna go to jail, you wanna go to the box, that's what it's like. You might lose your mind. You might wanna kill yourself. Or you can do what I did, and enlighten yourself. Peace.